Hey there, explorer! Welcome to another travel vlog with the traveling foxes. We are now at our final leg of our Morocco road trip adventure. From exploring ancient sites and going on a Sahara adventure, we are headed to discover the cultural hotspots and unique gems in Morocco. Get to know this beautiful blue city and don't forget to subscribe for more travel adventures. Now let's get going! Hello, good, good morning! morning. Say hello to camera. <laughs> so this is Isho, our wonderful guide in the oh, last three days. Cr you're crazy too. <laughs> 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 for the last three days. But we made you, it finally uh, with this. We made it. Yes. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Can't handle all the girl energy. <laughs> so today we're going to be doing a quick tour of Fez, right? Yeah, we're going to, to one of the beautiful places and then continue driving to our best place. Yay! Chef Shower. Chef Shower. Chef Shower. <laughs> Our first stop here is the Borj Sudan, where you can have a beautiful, beautiful view of Fez. <laughs> After spending the night in Fez, we stopped by to admire the view from the top. It's amazing to see a bird's eye view not only of the city itself, but the majestic and historical medina that surrounds the city. So last night, Nat and I were exploring a little bit of the medina, so I guess from here, you have an idea how huge the Medina is. Fez is um, such an important city here in Morocco. It's like the cultural capital of the country and also has one of the biggest Medinas. We're not going to do a full on tour of Fez since we don't really have time. We only had like four days with Desert Morocco tours. This is our outfit today in Fez. Mm. Okay. Hi Isha, we're ready. Before heading to our main destination, we did another stopover at one of Fez's pride and most famous trades, ceramics and pottery. Fez is actually the place where they make the ceramics. So we're going to see the production, how it's done, and also see the finished work. About something very traditional since 11th century. 11th century. Thanks to the quality of this clay. Fez is well known for producing the best pottery in Morocco. Much of it are still made in a traditional way and it's fascinating to see how they are shaped by hand and the pottery turned by foot. We also took the time to appreciate handmade Moroccan mosaic tiles and the different tile works that remain the hallmark of Moroccan architecture and design. There's no doubt that we were inspired by the delicate Moroccan craftsmanship that we couldn't help but buy pieces for our own. Shopping done? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, not done. No, no, not no, no. It was just done. Okay. <laughs> King's Palace, beautiful, intricate designs, beautiful doors. We are back on the road and starting our journey to the northern side of Morocco. The trip takes about three hours, so it was quite a journey for us. Check out our complete road trip itinerary if you haven't yet and see the ever-changing scenery when you travel across this expansive and beautiful country. Almost there! Reaching Chef Shawan city is pretty obvious, with this big blue door welcoming every tourist that visits for the first time. If you're lucky, you'll even have Gandalf here to greet you. So we just entered Chef Shawin and look at this beautiful view. Two, one. Ooh. And these girls are going on a outfit change. Yes. <laughs> oh, like bigger than we expected. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of a beach town. Oh yeah. It's just like a the grease of yeah. Stepping into the old center of Chef Shawen really feels like a fairy tale. With every nook and cranny, no matter how old or new they look, 
Every space felt authentic and just wonderful to look at. Sprinkling it with cute little kittens everywhere, Chef Shawen easily tops as a highlight for our Morocco trip. So we're just in our first two minutes here in Chef Shawen and it's like every corner is like picture perfect <laughs> because it's so big, there's a lot of spaces and also you can really tell that locals still live here so the houses and the doors are like entrances of people's homes. There are many rumors and theories as to why the city is painted blue. Some say it represented the sky which reminded the people of heaven and God. And one practical reason was that the color blue acted as a natural mosquito repellent. Whatever the reason, they made the city so popular for tourists that even some locals would welcome you for a small fee to get that perfect Instagram shot. I just bought a new pair of earrings. We just bought a new pair of earrings. Oh, so nice. <laughs> I know, it's just hard to uh, Ooh, they have hard them. to not shop. <laughs> Finished our That's Chef so Chouan tour and Oh my gosh, wow. it's so beautiful here Amazing. guys. Like, <laughs> we were overwhelmed with how many beautiful spots. Like in the beginning so we were so excited. Pictures. <laughs> and after all like I'm so tired but we have to do it because we're not coming back anytime soon. I know, it's like blue, 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 yeah. blue. It's really amazing. It's really one of a kind. Yes, that's the end of our road trip tour, yeah. actually. Um, We're heading back to Marrakesh. Yes, for another two days or so. So make sure to subscribe to the Traveling Foxes if you haven't yet. And if you are curious about the playlist of our Moroccan adventures, yeah. I'm also going to be sharing it here with you guys. So hope to see you in the next video.